Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this motion graphics background in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing that we need to do is go over here and create a new fusion composition. Let's go ahead and type this as background. And then go ahead and double click this so that this opens up. And here we have our media output. So let's quickly go ahead and create a background and connect them. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go over to this background and set the type to gradient. So here you can see we have a linear gradient. So go over here, click this side and set the color to this color code. You can copy this from here. Then go over to this side and add this color code. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to create a circle and for that let's go ahead and add a background once again but this time we are going to add this ellipse over here and let's go ahead and connect these two like this and go ahead in the ellipse section and just uncheck this solid from here go ahead and set the border width to 0 0.03 like this okay so now go over to the background and once again, go and set this to gradient. And this time we are going to change the colors to, first of all, this color code. You can copy this. And secondly, we have this color code. You can go ahead and copy this as well. Hit OK. And here you can see we have a hollow circle. Now go over to the ellipse section and over here in the length, go ahead and set this to 0. 75 like this and here you can see we have this shape over here now what we are going to do is go over at zero and set a keyframe at position like this and then go all the way to the back and set the position to one so this will give in give a rotation effect so our hollow circle will rotate and in this case, it will keep on rotating because this is a loop that will continue. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and select both of your ellipse and your background over here and your merge as well. Hit control C to copy these nodes and hit control V to paste them over here. And then click on this merge and by dragging it to this line, Hit shift on your keyboard, press shift until you see this blue line. And once you see the blue line, just go ahead and leave it. So this will connect it with your timeline. Or you can say it will connect it with the merge that we have over here. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and change the width and the height. So let's go ahead and type 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. Both add the width and the height over here. Now we are going to set the length to 0 0.25, like this. Once again, we are going to set the position. So go ahead and select this ellipse and this will... Okay, so since we have copied the ellipse and the keyframes were created, we are also getting this rotation effect in both of them. So if we go ahead and play this right now, you can see that we get the rotating effect in both of our shapes. But for this one, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and remove these keyframes from here. And right now I'm going to create a keyframe at zero at the position one. So let's go ahead and create a keyframe here. And over here, I'm going to set the keyframe to zero. So this will, both of these shapes will go in the opposite direction. That is the point. So let's go ahead and play this. And here you can see that both of them are rotating in the opposite direction. Okay, now let's go ahead and copy these nodes from here and paste them once again. Connect them over here. But this time go over to the merge of them 
the merge node of them and decrease the size, then simply just place this over here. And you can see that this is also giving us a rotating effect. So we have a smaller shape of this large shape that we just created. And now once again, let's go ahead and copy this, these nodes, paste them over here and connect them with our nodes. But this time, let's go ahead and change the position as a bit. And let's also change the angle. So you can go over to the merge and just change the angle like this so that you will get a different kind of rotation effect like this and once again go ahead and copy this paste this over here connect them and bring this over here so you can do this as many times as you want but i'm just going to but i'm just showing you how to do this to make this look interesting now let's go ahead and change the angle of this as well. You can also go ahead and change the size from here, the length from here as well. So you can go ahead and play around with this. Now let's go ahead and play this. So this is how it looks right now. And we have our background completed. So now let's go over to our timeline and bring this background behind our text. So right now I had this previously created fusion clip. Now we are going to drag this background over here. And here you can see if we play this. You can see that we have our background. So you can go ahead and add this behind the text you can use this as a background for your videos so and one other thing that you can do is you can go ahead and copy this by clicking alt by pressing alt and dragging it so that this creates a copy and you can increase this so this can be reused so this was it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one